Hi everybody, it's Margaret here with 60 and Me. 60 and Me is a community for women who are over 60, 70, 80, who are living life fully and living with passion and purpose. But aging is not easy. <laughs> Definitely not easy. And we talk about that a lot in our community. We have our Patreon community where we get together and talk in a more informal way about, uh, about the challenges. And most women in that group will say it's tough. Aging is a celebration of the fact that we've made it this far and that we are still here and hopefully healthy and, and well, but it's also an acknowledgement that we've been through a lot and we have we've adapted to our situations as they have arisen and we've gotten hopefully stronger through it. But I want to talk to you today about the steps, there's five of them that I can give you, the guide to, to dealing with aging. And it was based on an article by Deborah Garrett, who's one of our bloggers. And I love this article by Deborah. It's very straightforward. It's very simple. If you're looking for me to, to tell you in the next um, you know, 10 minutes, um, the magic you know, ways to, to, to deal with aging, it's not it's not going to happen because this is just real life. <laughs> this is just uh, a story. I'll tell you a bit about my life, about how I um, came into this world of aging and uh, 60 and me, and also just um, you know chat a little bit about the things you can do to make yourself feel in control and stronger and relevant and visible and important in this world. I think that's the one thing is, you know, when we get older, we start to feel like we just don't matter anymore, that we just, it's not so much that we're invisible, it's that we just don't have anything to contribute. And we know now that that's not true because this, I don't know, this is our time. Women over 50, 60, this is our time. We have, are having a moment. Now, I know a lot of women in their 40s and 50s are really thriving in this time, and but they don't know what's coming. The real fun begins, I think, when you get to be 60, because then you really are facing yourself. You're looking in the mirror. You can see the wrinkles. You can see the, the you know, the, the whole change that's going on in your body. It's all good. It's all, so it's not for the weak. <laughs> it's not for the weak and the, and the fragile. This is a time to be strong and um, to be embraced, to be able to embrace and thrive in this time and make it and make the transition easier. The first thing that Deborah talks about is accept your age accept your age. I think that most women in our community would, if we said, to, you know, I, I was standing in front of all of you and I said, well, how old are you? Most women would just say their age. I'm 60. I'm 61. I'm 65. I'm 73. I'm 78. They would say that the, the, the because I think that once you get over 60, it's kind of like, well, what's the point of not saying it? I, it's clear that I'm not 30 anymore. But um, I mean, my own personal story, I think I, I've, I've talked about it a little bit before, but when I was, um, well, I was 59 for four years. I worked in an environment where the culture was very young. I was working with young people. It wasn't that I was trying particularly to hide my age, but I just didn't really feel like I wanted to be 60. It just didn't seem like me. <laughs> And so I denied it for, for that many years. And it wasn't until um, I was on holiday in, I think I was 63, it was close to my 64th birthday. And I uh, was traveling, I had an accident, I fell, I uh, hurt myself and um, you know, just realized that I had not been taking care of myself. I was acting like I was, I, was, I think I was wearing high heeled shoes on cobblestones and I fell, you know, it was just like, you know, enough. You've got to start being conscious that you are 50, not 59 anymore, you're 64. And just be aware of what that means to in your body, being in, in your head and how I then was able to go back after that holiday. And I, in fact, I started 60 and Me during that break. I opened a Facebook group and said, hey, is there anybody else out there that's been like 59 for four years? And I had within a week, you know, 10,000 people and realized this is a group that's not getting any love, any acknowledgement. And that was why 60 and Me started. And um, so anyway, I went back to my job and I, I gave my notice and I, you know, I decided this was the way I wanted to go forward. And it was just that final acceptance of my age. So denying your age takes, it's, 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 it's uh, time, wasting time. It's just, it just saps your energy, constantly wanting to be younger than you are. I look at a lot of the bloggers, especially the makeup bloggers, and um, I think, oh my gosh, I hope you guys are going to be okay because they're just freaking out at being 40. 40 I'm 43. <laughs> it's like, okay, 43 is great. 53 is great. 83 is great. But it's just that, um, you know, your body is definitely going to, like, even after 60, I think it changes from 50. And then when you get to 70, 
then you really know. But anyway, accept your age. Second thing is own your own story. Own it. You know, you get to tell your story. You know, even your children may want to tell a different story about you. They may have memories. They may look at you through different lens. They look, they look at you through their lens. And it may be a different one than yours. So they may have a different story. Your employer might have a different story. Your friends even. You own your story. What what did you do? I mean, if you had a terrible childhood and you and you really feel like you were impacted by it, tell it. I mean, you don't have to tell it, you know, and hurt people and, and be and be, you know, um, I don't know, just sort of taking your story to, to be difficult with someone. But you know, you own your story. And if it was if it was challenging, then make it make it your story. Where your thoughts go, your energy goes. And if you worry about hiding things and not being truthful about yourself and not telling your story honestly, honestly, as you see it. And we've, we've had this conversation quite a bit on 60 and Me about estrangement and about how things happened in a way you didn't expect. And, you know, and, and you have to stand by your story. I mean, you, just what you remember. You can't follow someone else's interpretation. So that's important, the second important one. Own your own story. And choose to make a better one going forward. I think that Deborah says that in her article, and it's really powerful. You have the power to choose. Another um, third thing to, to sort of guide to dealing with aging is to face the difficulties. You know, everything that you knew from 20 years ago is changing, not just in your own life, like in terms of your body, your, your uh, strength, your health, all those things, but in the world. I mean, this is, is a challenging world. I mean, I mean, we've talked about this sort of endlessly, the pandemic and, and this thing that took, shook us, you know, just shook everybody two years ago. And when you're watching this video, but you know, it's, it's just, you know, it shook us to the core. And not only that, but technology has evolved. Everything that we know about communication, um, we don't talk to each other in the same way anymore. We, we text, we, we do, you know, WhatsApp or, or FaceTime to talk to our, our family and friends. The whole texture of our lives has changed, and um, if you're, you know, if you're finding difficulties um, in those areas, we are really going to have to face them. If you, if you, that is going to be, and I think I mentioned it in a previous video that if you can adapt to, um, you know, to your situation as it is in maybe a world that you don't even recognize anymore, then. Yeah, but, I, but actually we have fun here at 60 and me telling stories about, do you remember when we had party lines and the other days, like, do you remember when we used to school iron leaves? Do you remember wax paper? And do you remember when we did our first job and um, we learned about fax machines? <laughs> What were they? And to, and cell phones that were like bricks. And, you know, we we have st good stories. Anyway, the next thing, the third, the fourth thing is to quiet your mind. Find ways to calm your mind. Okay, take a breath. Breathe out. <laughs> Just do it right now. It's really powerful. Just quiet your mind. Find meditation, mindfulness, something that you can do. Um, find out what your soul, De Deborah says this, and I just wrote the note down here, is find out what your soul really, really wants. And when you decide what it really wants, be brave enough to make the changes. There may be changes you have to make to your living situation, to your financial situation, uh, emotional, all these things, when you find out what your soul really wants in that quiet space, go for it, do it. Finally, choose to be grateful. I know we talk about gratitude all the time. And it's like, blah, 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 Margaret. Yes, gratitude, I'm grateful, but, 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 but it's true. Grateful is, uh, it, gratitude is the one thing that we can bring down to whatever level we're at or up to every level that we're at and embrace it. And we don't have to do it in a begrudging way. It is our truth. It is our reality. Choose to say that we've got blessings instead of, you know, instead of the opposite, that we've got abundance. I mean, even looking at the way that we, um, you know, maybe dealing with shortages and food and all the rest of it, and, and I'm, I you know, could list all the, the current things, but um, it's just about having a blessing for your breath and for your body and for your family. Gosh, knows, even, if they're, even if they're not perfect, no one's perfect, right? It's a time to be grateful time to be grateful and it's your choice so what do you find most challenging about the aging process did you do what i did, did are you hiding in the 50s before you get to 60 
<laughs> Come on now, it's okay. Um, you know, are there any areas in your life that you'd like to have changed or, you know, that you, that you think have improved with age? That's a good question, actually. What has improved with age in your life? Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. hope it was inspirational. Please um, check out the uh, website, 60 Me. We've got Facebook, of course. If you like this video, I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel. And also, just like the video because at the bottom there's like a thumbs up. Just just look, you know, press that because then YouTube's algorithms will share this. And I think that's the secret is to get this message out to as many women as possible and give them a, a source of strength and inspiration in their lives. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you guys more than you'll ever, ever know. I just, I'm, I'm just sending you all the love in the world to stay safe and well and happy and to make the aging process fun and a journey that you enjoy. Take good care, everybody. Have a super day and we will talk again soon. Bye-bye for now.